All right, here it is, 10.30 in the morning. 20 degrees inside, and minus 10 outside. My thermometer may have thawed out. I don't know, it's down here somewhere. Uh, you can see my driveway now. That's a bonus. I can see the edges of it in some spots, which is a bonus, but it's still cold out. It was nice the other day, but uh, then she got cold again. But you can tell a lot of snow melted. If you remember how my deck looked before, you know, I couldn't even open my front door. There's a good three feet of snow on the deck, and now it's pretty much melted off, so that's a bonus. There's a happy kitty right here. Oh, she doesn't look very happy because the dog's around, but... Hey, happy kitty. Easy. She might not be so happy. She's sometimes cranky. This guy, well, he just wants to go outside. Look, you can tell. Does he want to go outside? Does he? Look at that tail wag. Let's see, oh, yes, the joke of the day, uh, uh, interesting, anyways, mm. uh, 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 it's funny, it's just not ha-ha funny, it's not ha-ha funny at all, no, anyways, just uh, let the doggy out so we can do his duties. I actually have somebody coming over to buy the Sentry right now, so hopefully they buy it. Uh, I guess I, I never did an update on that part. Um, I took it for another drive. Well, there's the drive I took it for there the other day when uh, I drove by the cops. That wasn't good, but uh, they didn't bug me, so. I mean, not that it was that bad. I, I could have slapped the plate on it and been totally legit, so. Just sucked that I was speeding at the time. But anyways, uh, but yeah, uh, I took it for another drive last night and uh, fuck, the car works good. Uh, I topped up the oil. She still needs some tranny fluid, but seems to be working fine. Shifts good, fucking lays rubber if you come onto it. Uh, even when you're going like 80k, 90k, and you fucking tromp it, downshifts, and seems alright, so. I think that the tranny's okay. Um, I am going to mention, of course, when I sell it, you know, it's a $500 car, so. Wow, I look red. Looks like my blood pressure's through the roof. I think it's just this camera. But, uh, I will tell her when uh, she comes to get it, you know, what's going on, and that she's got to that the lines at least got to be replaced probably at least the transmission fluid flushed but uh, seems to be working fine now so you know I'm just worried about the she's got to know about the lines because if one of them pops off you know I don't want to have somebody freaking out oh you didn't tell me this thing was jerry rigged so you know I always tell people when they jerry rig shit otherwise I'd probably get more money but uh, you know I don't want the hassle of people get pissed off and all that and uh, you know I'm selling a hundred dollar car for 500 bucks what, what do you want right I mean yes I could sell it maybe for a thousand if I did some more work to it but it is what it is it's not a fancy car by any means for me you know that focus could have I don't know in a way this car could have more potential if I knew the transmission was stronger but I don't care it was a hundred dollar car. I paid less for it when I did the Focus, so I can sell it for less. What does he have to do? Just governor. What are you sniffing, bub? Must have been a male cat around. Because my cat's female, the males come pee by my door sometimes. But, oh, whoosh. Hey, look. There's your ball. There's your ball. Oh, it's frozen. It's frozen. You can't get it? You can't get your ball. It's frozen. Oh, you got it. You got it. Where are you going? Where are you going? Holy sweet fucking burr fuck. My driveway here. You can see I got her down. This is the edge. I can see grass again. And I got my truck so I can actually... I have a little room in the driveway here. Yeah, just been chiseling away, chiseling away. The 
the uh, this ice sucks, let me tell you. But holy fucking bird, oh, I gotta get in the shop. Oh, blah, blah, blah. God damn, it's cold out there. But anyways, I cleaned her all up last night. Shop backed all the interior and that out. Um, might actually be able to see it now that it's daytime with this camera. I actually found my uh, Kodak PlaySport. Works really well for um, for uh, low light. I didn't even realize it. I hope I didn't leave that key on all night. I should start it up. Ah, oh, shit. I was worried that was gonna happen. The problem with this car is it has a tendency. Well, it leaves the lights on after you shut it off, which is a real pain in the fucking ass because it drains the fucking battery down. And after you run the car just a couple times, then it doesn't want to start again. Anyways, I gotta get on this because somebody's on their way right now. So I gotta get this fucking charged up and uh, ready to go so it starts when they get here and everything. So uh, anyways, uh, I'll get back to you once uh, everything's done and all that and when I get to my next thing I'm doing, whatever that may be. <laughs> Anyways, boys, talk to you well, after. It's gone. I sold her. Didn't quite get what I wanted. I said five. They offered me four. Said I wasn't going to take it. They said, come on. I said, sure. I can't complain about a $300 profit. That's uh, unexpected and well needed. So uh, I was glad to get that. What? Do you want to go outside? You do, don't you? We go outside in a minute. But anyways, now the sentry's gone, the key is gone. I got some room in here again. Um, I was working, I got some more work done with this old truck. I got the uh, mild tires, I didn't realize. Mild tires are bigger than the tires that were on that. But the front tires on that were in better shape than my rear, so uh, I replaced them. I was going to take the rear tires off this, I think I mentioned it, but I couldn't get them off. Uh, even after chiseling them a bit with the air chisel, I just gave up, said fuck it. What am I going to do with the... You know. Here, go outside, dog. Go on. Not very warm out there. But anyways, uh, like I was saying, uh, I got that tore off, uh, the wheels swapped, um, what else, I got the gas tank out and ready to go, and the gas tank straps, which are sitting right here for my truck, because right now one of my straps is busted right off and uh, has a tie strap in place of it, and the other one is probably going to fall off one of these days. And break something. So there's that. Got snow coming this weekend supposedly so hopefully I uh, have a chance to fire this up. Got a little bit of fuel if I need her. Which is good because I probably will. I don't know if I'll bother with the Craftsman. I think I'm going to take the plow gear and everything off that. You know another month or so that thing is actually going to be back in action. So uh, probably do an oil change on it and uh, Put the mower deck back on, took the plow and all that shit off. And so that's ready to go. Other than that, uh, fucking Mastercraft vac, shop vac, is a piece of shit. I think I mentioned it before, it sounds like a fucking jet engine. Well now I started it up after using it. All I've ever used this for was I sucked up some water in my basement, I dumped it directly afterwards, and then I sucked up some fucking hair with it. And I guess because I didn't have the filter on it, didn't like that. Now the motor's fucking making all kinds of noise. It smells like burning rubber inside. And fuck, what a piece of junk. I don't know about you guys, but I've used lots of shop vacs. Whoa! There we go. I've used lots of shop vacs before, and uh, usually you can suck up damn near anything, and that won't happen. Ah, this guy. Look at him. Just look at him. 
He's addicted. Saw a little one just like him today. He, well, he didn't have the white stripe. But uh, the one that said he was eight months old. And uh, he was a little hellion, which doesn't surprise me. I'm sure this guy was too. He's enough of a hellion now. But anyways, uh, back to this. Um, now that my driveway's clear enough, I'm going to see. There was a guy interested. I'm going to see if he's going to fucking take it. If not, I'll well, probably have to wait until after the storm to find somebody to take it. But uh, I would really like to get them rear tires off because those rear tires are better than the tires I just put on it. But, uh, you know, I'll take what I can get. There are some all right tires on the back of that, too, that I can get swapped over. But that costs money and I'm cheap. <laughs> um, I just also uh, came back after I sold the uh, Buick. I had to go deposit some money in the bank, so I swung by crappy. Bought some oil, gonna do an oil change on the old tractor there. Uh, I noticed when I checked the oil that, well, one, it was low, but that's, I topped it up, but uh, the oil was really runny and smelled like fuel. And the way that thing doesn't run right, that doesn't surprise me too much because, uh, you know, sometimes cylinders are just dumping the fuel into them and they're not firing. So fuel's got to go somewhere, so it's going to go into the oil. Unfortunately, running it that way is not good. So uh, I noticed the motor sounded a little clanky there the last couple times I used it. So I'm going to change the oil, dump a Lucas in there. Then that way I don't have to worry about that for a little while anyways. And probably be plowing. You'll probably see some more plowing videos shortly. I might uh, try to mount one of my cameras on the actual tractor. So you guys can get a uh, tractor view of me plowing. I mean, you know, you've seen me, you know, from uh, a, a different person's perspective. So, uh, wow, there's something big reflecting a lot of light across the bay. I'm trying to figure out what it would be. It's like... At least the size of a roof or something. Maybe it's a greenhouse. Anyways, uh, yeah. So, I think I got everything I need in here. I picked up a uh, USB cigarette lighter today. Thought that was kind of neat. Just a little coil. You can recharge and stuff. Which is kind of neat. I don't know. Bought it more as a novelty. And if I spend like four more dollars, I'll save five or something, so, or something like that, I don't know. So I just bought the thing and saved five bucks, so as far as I'm concerned, it cost ten, so, you know, I got it for half price. But, uh, brr, it's freaking cold up today. They say, on the radio, they said it feels like minus 20 with the wind, and I believe it. It doesn't help that I'm wearing these pants that the uh, battery acid got to. <laughs> Note to self, when moving big batteries around, wear shitty pants or something to protect their pants. I don't, I never even notice it. All of a sudden my fucking clothes just disintegrate. doesn't even bug me that much, but a uh, buddy of mine there, I remember one time, he got a little battery acid on his leg. I'm carrying a battery and it was burning the shit out of him. He didn't like it at all. But, uh, oh, it has warmed up quite a bit. It's only about minus two here now. It was like minus ten this morning or something like that. Oh, actually, I just realized my video this morning, uh, the time was wrong. I think I said it was 10.30. It was actually 11.30. I hadn't swapped that clock on the time change yet. Look at these animals. Look at them. Just mooching this heat off the sun. They hate each other half the time. Well, when I'm not clo too close, they're... they get closer. The closer I get, the more angry they get at each other, it seems. But uh, it's always funny. You always see her in the light. Usually him, too, if he gets the chance. Um... But yeah, other than that, you know, it's melting. Looks a lot nicer now than it did this morning. And you can see this is melting away real fast. You can see the edges of the road, parts of my yard again. Won't be long, you know, in spots. 
If you look over here at these hedges, see how long they are at the end. They're like three feet tall. Well, the snow is actually over top of them there in the middle, and they're still three feet tall in the middle, so there's big snow banks around still. You can see these trees. Whoa, I forgot I'm zoomed in. These trees down here, those all sit like at least a foot over the ground, or but maybe even two feet over the ground before they bush up. So, you know, there's still a lot of snow, even what's melted. Oh, I just saw a squirrel on the road up there. Missed a guy earlier who was stuck up here. It was kind of funny. He pulled into the uh, into this old school here, which is uh, the junkyard took over, and they keep a bunch of their junk there. Anyways, he pulled in, realized he couldn't make it in two wheel drive, and uh, started to back up. But you know, if you drive in a two wheel drive truck in reverse with no weight in it, you know that just a big hill will fuck you up. And uh, he had to spin the shit out of his tires to get back up on the road, which is kind of funny. But, uh, anyways, boys. Whoa, that sun is bright. It's cold out there, but at least the sun is bright and the sun is warm. Oh, there's something in my eye again. I had this happen the other day. It was a friggin' eyelash. It was, uh, one of my upper eyelashes was really long and curled down, like, from my top eyelid into my bottom eyelid and was messing with my eyelashes. It was really weird. I had to pluck it, which was not fun. But, anyways, uh, till next time, peace the frig out.